Hello folks, uh, today once again we are together. So it is uh, uh, 2016 May June paper 2 3 and uh, question number 5. So first of all, uh, I'd like to share some of my thoughts on the, on my channel itself. So one of the students uh, commented that uh, on one of my videos that uh, uh, had he seen uh, uh, that particular video of mine when he was a student. Uh, he would have been a great physicist by this time so I was pretty uh, happy and surprised by seeing this comment so maybe uh, because um, what happens is in, phys in physics is uh, we often believe that physics is not difficult the language of physics has been made difficult so it is our job the job of we teachers to express physics in as simple language as possible without going through more technicalities. So the more we, st we try to make it complex technically, uh, the more people do not enjoy our subject. So if uh, we want that uh, people enjoy it, uh, we have to use words, uh, which we often use in our daily communication. So I think that's what I did. So that is the video on, uh, on the value of A, when a body rises and falls. So I stressed on in that video that uh, it is negative, negative G. And uh, I also got lots of uh, fo uh, follow following uh, questions that uh, whether G is positive or negative. G is never negative. G is positive. G is 9.81 or 9.8 or 10 meter per second squared. What matters is whether A is plus G or minus C. So when a body rises and falls without doing anything, simply uh, because of gravity, at the time uh, A is equal to minus G. That is what I stressed in that video. On that video and uh, lots of comments I have received and uh, most of them have said that uh, uh, I uh, I told the, th the fact uh, uh, clearly than uh, other videos other means uh, videos of other people so that's a great compl compliment for me okay so let's uh, start uh, this uh, question so the first thing is uh, state the law of uh, uh, conservation of momentum so it is uh, about closed system so in a closed system or in a system where we don't have external forces, the total momentum of bodies is constant. So whether they are colliding or not colliding, whether they are individual, whether they are just solitary, uh, the total momentum should be constant. Now, so uh, number B, so it looks a bit of a tough thing. Two particles A and B collide elastically as illustrated in figure 5.1. So elastically means that, uh, uh, means that here we have the question here their total Ke remains constant, kinetic energy remains constant, before and after, it is the same. The initial velocity of A is 500, so it is 500 meter per second, I can write it as Ua, and B is rest, so they say Ub is equal to 0, the velocity of A after collision is Va at 60 degree to the x direction, so it is Va at 60 degree to the x direction, the velocity of B after the collision is uh, VB at uh, 30 degree, 30 degree here. The mass M of each particle is uh, this much, so it is somewhat like a proton. Explain what is meant by the particles collision elastically. So it means that the uh, total K before and after is same, constant. Now the next question is, calculate the total initial momentum of A and B. So we have to calculate the momentum of this time. So it should be equal to... Uh, total momentum it is uh, before collision so that should be equal to uh, P total total before collision before collision should be equal to equal to uh, M uh, M U A plus M U B equal to M U A U A plus uh, 0 because this U B is equal to 0 U B equal to 0 so that's simply equal to m is uh, 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 into this u is uh, ua is uh, 500 meter per second and it will be the calculation so it is becomes um, uh, equal to so it is 8.35.35 into 10 to the power minus 25 uh, kz meter per second this is the unit of the momentum so i can write here 8.35 into 10 to the power minus 25 25 kg meter per second but here we have another unit given here which is newton second so it also okay now 
in the next question we are told to so state an expression uh, in terms of m v a and v b for the total momentum of a and b after the collision so we have to find the total momentum of a and b after collision but uh, since uh, the bodies are going in a slanted manner since they are going in a slanted manner so what they have done is they have uh, uh, they have uh, told us to do it uh, turn by turn so first x axis so let's first go for the x axis only so here it is in the x axis x axis it is in zero actually so in the x axis the component of this va will be equal to will be equal to equal to equal to equal to equal to this much so this is the component of this uh, va in the x axis and similarly the component of this vb in the x axis will be equal to so like this so let me do it like this let me do it like this like this so this is a component so this component of velocity will be equal to va cos 60 degrees and this component should be equal to va cos of 30 degrees so uh, the component towards the angle is always cos something so it should give us so in the x direction we should have so initially we have got uh, m into v sorry m into u a u a plus zero should be equal to should be equal to equal to now this should be sorry sorry uh, i have to do just the final momentum here so the final momentum should be equal to it is m v a cos of 60 degree it is this for body a and for the second body it is m into v b then cos of 30 degrees cos of 30 degrees so then in the y direction it will be equal to so let's take uh, this thing as positive this thing as positive so in momentum what happens is uh, what we did in our theory classes is before collision both of them x-axis after collision both of them y-axis so it is all positive if one of them reverses then it will be negative so for y-axis what i should do is uh, if this is positive then other should be negative so what happens here is for in case of uh, this uh, uh, va the this component is equal to somewhat like this it will be somewhat like this like this so it should be a uh, va this angle is 60 so here it should be sine of 60 degrees and this thing will be this thing the component this thing will be equal to somewhat here it should be a rectangle here will be equal to it is a vb sine of 30 degrees but this vb is opposite compared to this so that's why i i must use a minus minus when i uh, deal with the equation so let's do it now uh, the the final should be equal to this one should be equal to uh, we don't know which one is greater uh, by the vector diagram it seems that this is greater so i'll use that like this it is m a v a sine of 60 degree 60 degree plus minus v b sine of 6 sine of 30 degrees 30 degrees so equal to m a sorry m v a a sine of 60 degree minus uh, v b uh, m also m is there i forgot m v b uh, sine of 30 degrees so that's the final momentum in this direction now now calculate the magnitudes of the velocities v a and v b uh, after the collision so it requires that we apply the principle of conservation of momentum in the two cases so if i apply for the uh, x direction only for x direction only direction only only the initial momentum will should be equal to initial should be equal to what you found in the previous space it was it was this p total moment before collision so it is this or i can use it as simply mass into u a so it is mass into u a is equal to this thing final mass into v a cos 60 degrees plus mass into v b cos of 30 degrees so m m m goes so what remains here is u a is equal to v a 
into 1 by 2 plus Vb into cos 30. It is root 3 by 2 or it will give, it will give me or 500 is equal to the value of Va was 500. So it's equal to Va by 2 plus Vb root 3 by 2 to, to this goes here. So which gives me 1000 is equal to Va plus Vb root 3 equation 1. Now for y direction, so for y direction, direction only, the initial is 0. It is because the body was traveling perfectly horizontal, so there is no vertical, so that's why it should be equal to 0. 0 is equal to this much, so it is m v a sin of 60 degrees minus m v b sin of 30 degrees which gives me, so this m and m goes to this side and becomes 0. So 0 is equal to uh, Va into root 3 by 2 minus Vb into 1 by 2 equal to uh, Va root 3 by 2 minus Vb by 2. So this 2 to LCM and goes to this side 0. So or 0 is equal to Va root 3 minus Vb which means Vb is equal to Va root 3. Equation 2. So if I use this value over here, over here I will have, I will have uh, uh, 1000 is equal to Va plus Vb is uh, Va root 3 into root 3 equal to Va plus Va into 3. So it is 3 plus 1, 4 equal to 4 Va. So this gives us Va is equal to 1000 by uh, 4 equal to 250. So if I apply the same value over here, so therefore Vb should be equal to 250 into root 3 equal to uh, what I got was, what I got was, uh, so it was um, so, uh, 250 into uh, 3 power, uh, power, uh, power uh, 0 0.5, 433. So it is 433 meter per second. So this gives us VA equal to equal to 250 meter per second and this equal to 433 meters per second. So this is the complete answer to the question.